What's up, Prop Bob? I'm Eduardo Talbert. This is Monster Tutorials. Do you see that detail on that skull? It looked like it was huge, but it's actually this big. See that? I 3D printed this guy today. This blew me away how detailed and how cool it is. Now, in this video, I'm going to be unboxing a 3D printer and I'm learning how to print. So this is not a tutorial on how to do this specifically, although we'll print this in the video, but it's more of the first is the unboxing, second, the prep work you have to do for 3D printing. So what do you need to buy? What do you need to have? How do you set up the printer and all that? And the third part is where we actually print and uh, finish this. But uh, if you wanna see a specific how to print something with full details, specifications, finding the files and all that uh, kind of video tutorial, let me know in the comments below and I will make a video for that as well. So let's get started with the unboxing. Today we're having a really cool unboxing, which we'll do over here. But let me tell you the story behind it. I made these eyes right here on the last tutorial, right? And they turned out pretty cool. But during my research, I was trying to find out how to do the circle, you know, the ball part, the white part. So. Uh, as I was doing my research, I thought maybe I can 3D print these spheres and uh, I've never done never done any sort of 3D printing, right? Uh, so I have no idea what those printers could or could not do. So I went and sent a direct message to these guys at uh, Elegu and said, Hey guys, uh, I'm making these eyeballs. Uh, can a 3D printer print the ball, you know, the, the sphere? So they told me to email. Uh, a person in their team. So I asked them again in the email and I said, hey guys, I'm trying to make some eyeballs. Uh, I want to print like a sphere. Will your printer do it? And if it does, I would love to learn more uh, about 3D printing the sphere so I can turn into eyeballs. And they said, of course it can. You know, I didn't know. And uh, then they asked me for my address and then they sent me this right here. Can you see that? It's the Elegoo LCD 3D printer. This is the Elegoo Mars. So let's open this and let's talk about 3D printing. Now, the other thing I thought about was uh, I've seen a lot of unboxing videos where they just open the stuff and they don't know what the stuff is or what it does. I think this video needs to be valuable to you. So I spent a few hours watching videos and learning everything I could about 3D printing. So this uh, video is not only the unboxing, but I'll show you uh, how to set it up, how 3D printing works like in general, and some other very important precautions you need to take and also the things that you need to have in addition to the 3d printer uh, in order to have good 3d printing experience All right let's get on with that now maybe you can save this video until the technology changes because this will be like a reference video so first thing to take a note on is the 3d printer does not come with resin right so you have to buy a resin separately okay so keep that in mind because if you order it and you're ready to go 3D printing, there's no resin. So make sure you add this to your order as well. Now there's links for everything below if you're interested in purchasing this or any of the stuff that way. In terms of 3D printing, there are two types of printers mainly. And uh, one of them, which is what I always imagined, was the one that kind of like squirts on top and makes layer by layer going up. I didn't know that there was a different type and it's this resin printer so this is totally different I uh, didn't know how it worked but now I do and uh, what it does it this comes with this resin and this resin right here is called photopolymer resin and uh, all that fancy word means it means that it cures with UV light so you put that resin somewhere and if you put a UV light on it it hardens okay so what this printer does it kind of projects images uh, onto a screen with UV light and that hardens the resin in that area and that becomes the first layer and then it builds the object you're printing layer by layer by layer until you finish right so that's the one thing there's a resin printer not one of those with the weed whacker spools let's open this i want to thank elegu for sending me the printer they sent it to me i didn't pay for it so that is really cool thank you all right i love unboxing stuff There you go. This is good packaging right here. All right, let's see. Nice. Check it out. 
here is a quick start guide All right and there's the printer and there's the box of accessories toolkit this is really good packaging here look at that that is awesome there's the plate we'll install this in a second that is the base of the printer that right there is by Doug Fisher he's a retired racing greyhound anyway let's get back to the unboxing this cover goes like that that's a really good looking cover right there now you might think it's cool looking just for looks but the uh, reality of things is that this is a UV light filter. UV light is not good for your eyes. It hurts your eyes. So this prevents the UV light being projected out of that screen in there from reaching you. So make sure you keep your cover on at all times. Let's open the toolkit. Right. I'm gonna go through these tools so you know what they are and you understand. So there is a scraper, it's a metal scraper. This is meant to clean the resin out of here, right? So don't forget that is for the plate because there is also a plastic scraper. And this one is to scrape any leftover resin from the screen. That screen right there, power cord. This is to hang this out of the way when you are getting your print off. And I'll show you how to use this when we do our test print. Plus with some gloves, that's for your protection, resin, is really, really, really nasty stuff. So uh, you have to use gloves uh, pr to protect your skin. It's not good for your skin. It's not good to breathe it. It's not good to put in your eyes or obviously don't eat it, but always wear your gloves. This is the power adapter for the power cord. Little Allen wrench to adjust things. More Allen wrenches and spare screws. Measuring cup so you can measure your resin. USB stick. This right here is a it's like a wire cutter and this is designed to cut the supports from your print these right here these are paint strainers or paint filters right and why do you need the paint filters that is because this resin is reusable whatever is not cured by the uv you can pour it right back into the container these help strain it to get the little pieces of cured resin out of here so you keep your resin nice and clean and the most important is a respirator okay this is extremely important because the fumes are not good for you at all but this is like putting a filter on a cigarette you know what that does it doesn't make the cigarette any safer right if you're gonna be working with resin for long periods of time I highly recommend that you invest in one of these okay and that it seals properly around your face uh, because if you're smelling the fumes they are hurting you okay uh, if you're working just for a couple hours and you're leaving and it's well ventilated and you're only printing maybe once a week then this will work okay all right so that's the contents of that let's talk about the back of the printer right here the back of the printer features a port here for the power this is where you put the power adapter you have your on up switch and this is where the usb goes to upload your file that you are going to print now a lot of people have complained about the placement of the usb port in the back of the printer right because once you put it on the shelf it's very hard to reach but we're most of tutorials and instead of complaining we find solutions so i got this two dollar it's called a usb extension right and i'm just going to put that right here and as always it doesn't go right the first time for the second there you go perfect now i'm going to route it under the printer so i am putting the printer on its side this is the fan that keeps the all the components cool and i'm taking this guy right here and we're going to put it right there and for that i'm using this little clips these guys hold the cord and this one sticks it where it goes so let me show you how so I am going to put the cable holder side where you want the cable to go. Put your cable holder right there. See? Perfect. And then to hold this in place, uh, these guys from the dollar store, right? Just stick it right here. Put this in 
there. I'm gonna put another one right here in the back. Nicely rounded, and I'm going to stick this back here. And that brings us to the front of the printer. All right, you can hear it now, huh? That's the fan. And there's your main screen. It is a touch screen and it is color. The first step to set this up after plugging everything is to calibrate the printer. So let's do that now. There is my cat. So back to this. So we're going to remove the resin tank, which is this guy right here. And it just slides right out. Okay. We're going to mount this right here, but we need to raise it up. So you go to tool and then manual. And let's go up. Mm. All right, that looks good. Loosen up the knob and let's slide right in there. Now let's close it firmly but not too tight so it's nice and snug, it's not going anywhere. And we're going to loosen up these screws which will let this surface pivot. For that, we use the enclosed Allen wrench. That is loose, as you can see. Now, the instructions say to put a piece of paper on the bottom, and then we're going to lower this so that this is perfectly flat and level. I have my piece of paper, I'm going to slide it in, and now we're going to push this button. It will go all the way down. Okay, so now we tighten the Allen screws in that position. That's nice and snug. Now let's lift it up. That is balanced and calibrated. I'm going to lift it up more so we can fit the tray back in. Now the tray comes with some protective film. Peel. We need to peel that film and now very carefully slide this back in. So this guy is calibrated, it's time to print something. So let's talk about what we're going to print for our first print. The first step for printing is to know what you want to print. And there are many ways to get that file. So there are a few places online that have free models and some paid models. Some of the most popular ones are My Mini Factory and Thingiverse. Okay, uh, there you have a bunch of models that you can print and uh, you download them and print them and some of them are paid and some of them are free. Oh, if you know how to use Tinkercad, you can design your own models. So let's go find a model. I went to Thingiverse and searched for Skull. I found a few models, so I selected one of them and just uh, downloaded it. This one was for free. The next step is you have to install the Cheetah Box software that turns your file from a 3D model into a file that the printer can understand. Okay, so I follow the prompts and I installed the Cheetah Box on my computer. From there I imported the model that I downloaded and you'll see it show up and it was too big so there's an option that makes it fit. I also checked the settings to make sure we have the right printer and then I told it to slice. This slices the model so that the printer can understand. I exported that file into the USB and then I took the USB and placed it in that 3D printer. Now while that file goes into the USB stick, let's talk about some of the extra things I like to have and there's links for those below that you might want if you're doing some 3D printing. Paper towels, lots of paper towels. I went to the dollar store and I bought this basket Three dollars for three baskets and this little thing for a dollar right and the idea is that we're going to put the alcohol to clean the parts in here we put the parts in the basket the basket goes in the little container and your parts get washed there you can scrub them with a little toothbrush so it's something like this super cheap super convenient box of gloves always good 
and as I mentioned before it gets all alcohol this is a uh, 91% isopropyl 99% uh, is preferred I haven't found it yet but as soon as I get it I will switch but this would work all right are we ready to print I have the file of the skull here so we're going to give this a shot first thing we're going to do is uh, remove the cover we're going to put some resin in here and uh, you're supposed to fill it up no more than a third up no a third of the way up we'll put the USB in here select the file and press print and see what happens uh, the length of your print is determined by the number of layers so if you have something really tall and skinny it might take five hours right but if you have 10 things across that are only this tall they'll take half an hour so if you have 10 things with 10 layers it takes just the same amount of time as one thing with 10 layers okay so keep that in mind so here's the resin that Elegu sent me don't forget you have to buy this separately because it doesn't come with a printer and this is the regular kind it says here and what I mean by the regular kind it just means that you need to clean it with the, with the alcohol there is a new kind that you can clean with water which is awesome but not this one again this cures with UV light so keep it away from the Sun uh, because that will harden it right so when we put this uh, resin in here and we put this cover not only does it protect your eyes from getting the UV from here but it protects the print from getting the UV from the outside ambient light right so it doesn't cure where it's not supposed to cure mask on Starting. I went to eat dinner, I left this printing and now it's done. Now you cannot see it because all you can see is the reflection of me. See right there? So I'm gonna show you up close, but right now it doesn't smell that bad, but as soon as you lift this, the smell gets really bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. So I'm gonna put my mask on and I'll show you how to hang this to drain or to drip dry. I don't know if you can hear me, but if you can't, I'll narrate this part. So that's where this little part comes in. We're going to take this, loosen it up, try to get the resin to dry. So we are going to put this right here. And we're going to let this drip. That is looking great though, check it out. I let this drip dry as much as it would drip, but there is a ton of resin stuck inside of the skull. Check it out. Feel that? All that is resin in there. And we have to get it out. There we go. Now this is full of resin on the inside. I don't know if that's happened to you before, but I have no idea how to get the resin out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the outside with alcohol all the way. And then we'll drill a hole in the bottom to see if we can get this resin all the way out. Because it is stuck in there. See that? Looks pretty cool, but I don't want resin in there. This resin is reusable, so put a 
paint strainer or paint filter in there, which are the ones with a little mesh in it. And uh, funnel always helps. This is what the plastic spatula is for. It's so that you can scrape this film to get rid of any little pieces of cured resin. All right, that's pretty clean. I'm going to wipe it down with alcohol. All right, so now that I can breathe and the printer's over there, I turned it off. I cleaned the, the screen. Uh, a little bit more of cleanup to do, but let's look at this guy. Uh, now that's full of resin, expensive resin, but I don't know if it's contaminated or not, so I'm not going to recycle this. But I still need to get it out of there because it's still full. So I'm going to just drill a hole, drain it out, and then uh, we're supposed to put this in the sun to finish curing. Right now, to, I feel it's pretty solid, uh, but make sure that you have no other resin left on, on your piece because any little glob of resin in the sun will become hard. I've drilled a hole right there. I'm going to go drain this in the trash because I don't want to reuse this, uh, this resin. And the lesson learned is if you print something like this and you do it hollow like I did, you got to make sure you have some drain holes if you're using liquid resin as opposed to like one of those, uh, you know, weed whacker, string trimmer type uh, 3D printers. So let me drain this. I'll be back. So final thoughts, check this out. I'll show some detailed uh, video here uh, in case you cannot see how cool that is. This is amazing. It printed each of the skull's teeth. Uh, this thing is like very anatomically correct. All the bones, the parts are supposed to be hollow, like right here where the cheekbones are are perfectly printed even the very thin areas like this bone whatever this is called that joins the cheekbone it is like paper thin and it's super strong i've never printed anything any 3d print before this is super cool this opens a whole new world of possibilities for me all right i'm going to go and uh, spray paint this with some primer maybe some gold paint and show you the final results but in the meantime I want to say that I absolutely love the printer. I have no other points of reference because I've never 3D printed before. I haven't tried any other printers. This is my first one and it is amazing. So Elegu, thank you for the awesome printer. It is super cool. The only thing that is missing is my seal of approval. Oh, that looks proper huh very cool highly recommend it there is a link below for this printer this is the elegu mars 3d printer there's a newer one that's called the elegu mars p or pro uh, which is also available but this is like awesome the price is amazing for a desktop consumer you know like household uh, 3d printer i remember back in the day not long ago a 3d printer that you could buy for your house was 14 fifteen thousand dollars right I think this is under 300 bucks, even less. Let me check. As of today, in Amazon, using the link below, the price is $249.99. Now, that price might vary depending where you are, what currency you're buying in. But here in the US, that is the price right now. I'm also including on the description below a coupon that Elegu just emailed me as I was videoing this. I went out to dinner and I checked my email. And that is for 10% off of resin. So you can get a... A head start on the resin it knocks 10 percent off of it that is helpful because it doesn't come with resin you gotta buy some of this stuff this resin was the clear one uh there's all kinds of colors and there is water washable which now that i think about it will be awesome because messing with that alcohol was kind of a pain but it's okay so highly recommended i'm going to really enjoy 3d printing but the biggest question and this is your homework let me know below in the comments what would you print with a 3d printer I was thinking eyeballs because the initial quest was for me to print the blank for one of these and then I can decorate it, right? 
So that's why I asked them. But what would you print with one of these? There's a skull. I saw a bunch of pumpkins. There's all kinds of stuff. I also want to use it to print little parts of an action figure that I am designing. So anyway, that's it for today. That's the Elegoo Mars 3D printer. I love it. I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Give it a like. See ya.